Uh, my name is Gavin Wood. I'm a co-founder of Ethereum, founder of Parity Technologies, and I'm currently working on Polkadot. So Polkadot's meant to be a um, a means of facilitating blockchain experimentation and bringing um, innovation closer to production. So it's really a platform for um, helping deliver new ideas of blockchain um, into the world as fast as possible. The main components of Polkadot that allow it are, firstly, it's a heterogeneous um, a multi chain um, system. So heterogeneous in that the um, the state transition functions, so the nature of the blockchains themselves, um, what they store, how they store it, um, what transactions can encode, how they're executed. Um, all of this stuff is uh, entirely flexible. There's no specific assumptions made, um, and that's why it's heterogeneous. The second thing is that the, these different heterogeneous chains um, they don't even need to be like chains in reality, they can actually be non-blockchain systems. They just need to fulfill a couple of um, uh, criteria. Um, these chains, or whatever they might be, data structures, um, can also send each other messages, and they can do so in what we call a trust-free fashion, which means that um, if any one of them gets reverted such that the message was never sent, then they all get reverted. And that's really critical. So they all have the same security characteristics by, by necessity. And um, that's, the, that's the sort of final thing. There's a shared security um, between all of these chains. So it means that the chains operate to some degree in lockstep in unison. But there are certain ways around this, this lockstep. You can build things called bridges. Um, and we can have um, privately or, 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 or sort of uh, independently maintained chains where actually it's only a stub that is maintained in lockstep and the rest of the chain sort of goes on and does its own thing and just every now and again there's the stub thing that's in sync with Polkadot and the chain which is independent, they kind of sync up. I always like EdCon. I think that these, um, these community-oriented, community-organized conferences tend to have a little bit more technical chops than the more sort of centralized, organized um, conferences, which tend to be a bit more glitzy and glamorous. And just looking at the conversation around Ethereum, there's plenty of sensible voices that are calling for, you know, um, strict processes to be followed in order to, to do um, irregular state transitions and protocol upgrades. Um, I was one of them with the Yellow Paper Council, and yet still, um, you know, we're muddling through, um, you know, barely muddling through. I honestly thought that we'd be there by now when I was, you know, sort of starting all this off in mid-2014, um, and we're not. Partially that's because the ecosystem is, is robust, people are going off in their own direction, they're doing their own experiments, um, and it's, that's a good thing. And partly I think because there's it being decentralized, there is not necessarily that always that leadership there that's driving things in a particularly coherent direction. Um, and that's maybe a bit less fortunate, but uh, yeah, I think it will happen. And I think five years time is not an unreasonable estimate.